South Africa's shock over Prince Andrew's 1,000 lovers. A new shocking new report claims Prince Andrew slept with more than 1,000 women following Jeffrey Epstein's arrest. The prince has faced intense scrutiny surrounding naked pool parties and teen massages. The Duke of York has steadfastly denied any wrongdoing following the financiers' arrest on charges of sex trafficking. Epstein was found dead from suicide in his jail cell on August 10. Now, a friend of the prince says that while sex is a big thing in his life, he doesn't sleep with teenagers. A friend of the 59-year-old told and revealed to the son he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, and he doesn't take drugs, and never has, but sex is his big thing in life. He was known as Randy Andy for a reason when he was younger, and it's never really stopped traveling all over the world as the UK trade ambassador and for other royal duties has given him access to some beautiful women and he's taken full advantage. He's a red-blooded male and if you like, he's like a sailor with a girl in every port. Andrew is currently on holiday with ex-wife Sarah Ferguson with whom he has recently been romantically linked to. Meanwhile, Buckingham Palace has released a statement following the shock allegations against the royal. The Duke of York has been appalled at the recent reports of Jeffrey Epstein's alleged crimes. His Royal Highness deplores the exploitation of any human being and the suggestion he would condone, participate in or encourage any such behavior is abhorrent. Prince Andrew mistake. How Prince Andrew's marriage to Sarah Ferguson was disastrous. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson have remained firm friends since their divorce and even prompted speculation that they could remarry. However, one royal commentator has claimed their marriage was disastrous and poor judgment on Prince Andrew's part. Prince Andrew, 59, is still close to his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. The Duke and former Duchess of Kent have two daughters together, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugene. While fans hope Andrew and Fergie could rekindle their relationship, a royal commentator has claimed Andrew should have never proposed the first time around. Prince Andrew is the Queen's third child and is widely thought to be her favourite. He was born in 1960, more than a decade after his big brother and heir to the throne, Prince Charles. Growing up, the two princes were labelled as the heir and the spare while Charles lived a more reserved existence, Andrew was branded the Playboy Prince. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams claimed the Queen's indulgence of Andrew as a child led him to have an overblown sense of himself as an adult. Mr. Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, Andrew is fortunate in that the Queen was able to spend much more time with him than with other older children. She was able to relax much more with him, but there is little doubt that he was indulged as a child, being a spare, but also as a second in line to the throne. He reportedly was too self-important. According to Fitzwilliams, the Queen's pride in her second son only increased when he served as a pilot during the Falklands conflict. He said, there is no doubt that she was proud of his service as a helicopter pilot in the Falklands, continuing the royal military tradition, and he seems to have been most at ease in the Navy. While Andrew's time in the army ticked royal boxes, his sensational romances were less traditional. Prince Andrew dated glamorous American photographer and actress Co Stark before he started seeing Sarah Ferguson. Mr. Fitzwilliams has described Andrew's decision to ever date Fergie as disastrous. He said it remains a great shame that his romance with Co Stark floundered and that his choice of Sarah Ferguson was so disastrous. Though they remain very close, she was totally irresponsible both as a royal and also as often been after their divorce. Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew both visited the Queen at Balmoral with their two daughters earlier this month. Prince Andrew was photographed together with the Queen attending church at Scottish Estate. Sarah Ferguson was reported to have left Balmoral suddenly ahead of Prince Philip's arrival. Prince Philip and Sarah can't be in the same room together according to some royal commentators. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine commentator James Brooks said they are not known to have the best relationship and obviously when all the furor around why they divorced and those pictures that come out that didn't go down very well supposedly they can't be in the same room together
is Sarah Ferguson already scouting wedding venues for Princess Beatrice? Indiscreet chauffeur tags Italian villa and events companies in image of Duchess of York. They are yet to get engaged, but could Sarah Ferguson already be scouting at wedding venues for eldest daughter Princess Beatrice and her boyfriend of one year, Ado Mapelli Motti? On a recent visit to Tuscany, the Duchess of York posed for a relaxed photo with her chauffeur, which was later posted to his Instagram account. Strangely, Villa Catinali, the house once owned by the late Viscount Anthony Lambton, who was disgraced after being caught in a tabloid sting with prostitutes and cannabis, was also tagged in the picture. Renting the villa near Siena cost £23,000 a week and those requesting their special wedding package for more than 100 guests should be budgeted around for an additional £9,000. Moreover, Fergie's indiscreet driver also tagged American Brenda Babcook and a company called Isles events in his post. Both specializes in destination weddings to the region with a testimony on Babcook's website from designer Vera Wang claiming when it comes to the weddings there is no one more knowledgeable, dedicated and fantasy than Brenda. Coincidence perhaps, but with Ado's family hailing from Italian aristocracy it would certainly be fitting, and of course, the Duchess may be helping out Bea, who, as I've revealed, is busy being a stepmom to Addo's two-year-old son, Wolfie, whose mother is architect Dara Huang. They played out every moment of their romance on Instagram, so it's no great surprise for me to report Brooklyn Beckham and his model girlfriend, Hannah Cross, have split after nine months together. The young lovers have decided to call it a day, leaving the eldest of the Beckham bird free to join his parents on holiday in Italy. And perhaps there'll be nobody happier than Brooklyn's mom, Victoria, who had quietly suggested he end the relationship after it became tempestuous during a trip to Ghana Film Festival in May. It was even suggested she and David were angry. Brooklyn 20 refused to make Hannah. 22 sign a non-disclosure agreement about the relationship putting more pleasure on the young couple now the big question is who will get the custody of their beloved pomeranian soho tiger lily hutchins has made the touching decision to leave london for the town where her mum paula yates spent her last months along with boyfriend nicholas albrook 30 the budding photographer is renting a flat in hastings where paula spent the summer of 2000 with tiger lily now 23 and her three sisters before a death from an overdose a friend says this is incredibly poignant for tiger she was only four when her mom fell in love with hastings but she knows it was where she was so very happy Revealed what the Queen dislikes more than anything else. Queen Elizabeth II was the guest of honor at Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. Queen Elizabeth has reigned for 67 years and navigated her role on the global stage with grace and poise. However, when Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson were planning for their royal wedding, there was a heated altercation over security arrangements that were distasteful to the monarch. Royal author Ingrid Seward, in a 1991 book, Sarah, Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of York, writes, There is nothing the Queen dislikes more than the presence of too many obvious security men. Miss Seward goes on to shed some light on an incident in 1986 ahead of Andrew and Fergie's royal wedding, which saw the U.S. First Lady Nancy Reagan come a creeper of the Queen's family stated preferences. Mrs. Reagan had been invited to the huge party held to celebrate the upcoming royal wedding that was organized by Sarah's father, Major Ronald Ferguson. Miss Seward writes, the Americans asked that Nancy Reagan be accompanied by 12 security men. Since the Queen was able to arrive from Windsor Castle with a single motorcycle outrider, Ronald Ferguson foresaw problems. He was right. There's nothing the Queen dislikes more than the presence of too many obvious security men. And knowing this, Ronald Ferguson was determined not to accede to the American 
request. In a heated altercation, he informed the head security man this is a private party and a private and a personal invitation from His Royal Highness the Prince Andrew. It's not extended to 12 bodyguards. The Secret Service man protested. In that case, Nancy Reagan would not be able to come. In that case, the Major replied in a voice that we're used to giving orders. She needn't. Major Ferguson told the author they finally settled on two, one at the door and one inside. Sarah and Andrew had to navigate another incident at the party when Princess Michael of Kent snubbed the newly engaged couple. Miss Seward writes, one table was one person short. The missing person was Princess Michael of Kent. When Prince Michael arrived, he was on his own. He had no explanation for his wife's presence, only an apology. However, this social fog pass was not repeated at their wedding, which Prince Michael of Kent did show up for. Despite finalizing their divorce in 1996, the Duke and Duchess of York have remained in the family together ever since. This summer, the parents of Princess Patrice and Princess Eugene have been at Royal Ascot together while before holidaying in Balmoral and Spain. Royal expert Camilla Tomini, speaking on TV show Sunrise, said their daughters Patrice and Eugene were with them in Balmoral and indeed we understand the daughters are now in Sota Grande in Spain with the couple. Some people find it odd this couple who are divorced still remain very close. Sarah Ferguson still lives with the Duke in Windsor in his property Royal Lodge and they do holiday together.